bad past glories. Senator Ludlam. Senator Ludlam. Thanks, President. Uh, my question is to the Minister representing, for the, uh, representing the Minister for the Environment, which I understand is Senator Cormann. Um, Minister, I refer to the spillage over the weekend of a million litres of strongly acidic radioactive sludge on the Ranger uh, project area in Kakadu National Park. And I ask whether the minister will concur with the demand of the traditional owners, the Mirar people, through the Gunjami Aboriginal Corporation, uh, also environment groups and public health groups, for no resumption of operations until there has been a full and independent audit of the Ranger mine site to assess its facilities and particularly whether there are any other of these leach tanks in similar condition. So, Minister, I understand that the Environment Minister has called for a clean-up and an investigation. My question to you goes directly to the independence of that audit and whether the company will be uh, prevented from restarting operations until that's concluded. Minister representing the Minister for the Environment, Senator Cormann. Uh, th thank you very much, uh, Mr President, and I thank Senator Ludlam for the question. Uh, I uh, can advise the Chamber that at, at approximately 1 a.m. on 7 December 2013, uh, leach tank number one at the Energy Resources of Australia Ranger Uranium Mine, uh, containing ground uranium ore, uh, water and acid, failed uh, spilling into the planned area. Uh, the Australian Government has ordered a thorough audit of the incident, and indeed the Minister for the Environment uh, has ordered an immediate investigation and immediate clean-up uh, of the site. The Office of the uh, Supervising Scientist was ordered to attend the site to conduct an inspection, uh, and this occurred on uh, Saturday. The advice provided to us uh, is that there, is, there has been no threat or damage to Kakadu National Park. Uh, the Minister will consider uh, the findings of, of the investigation, which will be released publicly uh, when finished. Uh, the spill was order, contained— Order, order Senator Cormann. Um, Senator, resume your seat as Senator Ludlam has got to his feet. Senator Ludlam. Thank you, uh, President. My point of order relates to relevance. I asked about the independence of the, audit, of the audits and the investigation that's underway, and the minister appears to be breezing along without any regard to my question. No one has confidence in the existing regulators. Please tell us if there will be an independent audit or not. Order. There's no point of order at this stage. The minister has one minute and eight seconds remaining. Minister. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Mr. President. And what I would point out uh, to Senator Ludlam is that the supervising uh, scientist is actually an independent statutory uh, body. And so I was actually directly uh, answering his question, just providing uh, appropriate, uh, appropriate context around the answer, uh, given the public interest uh, in this matter. Uh, so I, I continue. The spill uh, was contained within the planned area, and there is no threat to the surrounding environment or human health outside of the immediate area. This has been confirmed uh, by the supervising uh, scientist staff on site uh, on Saturday, 7 December, and by the acting supervising scientist uh, himself on Sunday morning, uh, 8 December. Uh, ERA have further contained the material around the planned area with uh, earthen uh, bands uh, so as to limit its spread uh, in the event of rain. A small amount of material made it through the storm uh, water system to retention pond 2. Uh, chemistry results indicate no change in retention pond 2 composition at this point in time. Uh, the material in the leach uh, tank consists of ground uranium ore water and acid at a pH of approximately 2. Uh, the material is not a significant radiological hazard and Order. similar to Time's that expired. of the Order. Order. Um, I thank the minister for his answer. My supplementary question um, is whether the minister will confirm that the proposal by ERA and its parent company Rio Tinto for underground mining at Ranger Three Deeps will be rejected given the demonstrable failure of ERA to maintain its mining infrastructure at Ranger. Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I will, seek, uh, I will need to seek advice from Minister Hunt uh, before uh, being able to provide an answer to that question, which I undertake to do as soon as possible. Senator Ludlam. Thanks, President. I ask whether the minister, who ran out of time when he was answering my first question, wouldn't mind tabling the balance of his answer, if he thinks that's appropriate. My final supplementary. Will the Environment Minister confirm that the weekend's events at Ranger demonstrate that the uranium industry poses unique and national challenges and that, therefore, in the national interest, it must be regulated, assessed and monitored by the federal government and not be handed back to the states and territories in a process of deregulation or outsourcing of the environment minister's responsibilities. Minister. 
Well, uh, th thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. President. What I would say to Senator Ludlam that these uh, issues are actually properly regulated, and there's actually no proposition to deregulate, but to simplify the administration of the regulation. Of course, our one-stop shop uh, proposals, which uh, are part of our plans to build a stronger economy and create more jobs, uh, will help to administer uh, the regulations which remain the same in a more efficient uh, way.